Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session of chemistry, we shall discuss the electronic configuration of atoms. So moving on, electronic configuration of atoms. We have seen the atomic structure and introduction to chemistry in the previous topics. So now we shall see how to configure an atom. So first we shall know about the orbitals and various quantum numbers. So first, what do you mean by orbi orbital? Orbital means where the, the place where these atomic particles like electrons, protons and neutrons are present. So atomic orbitals are precisely distinguished by co numbers called quantum numbers. Each orbital is designated by three quantum numbers labeled as N, L and M, L. So what is this N, L and M, L? Okay, the first one is principal quantum number called N. Okay, so what is this principal quantum number? So first orbital named as n equal to 1 that is first orbital n equal to 2 means second orbital first orbital name old, in the olden days we used to name as k l n m n okay k means first orbital l means second orbital m means third orbital okay so the principal quantum number always identifies the shell or orbital with increase in the value of n the number of orbital increases and are given by n square. Okay, all the orbitals of a given value n constitute a single shell and are represented by the following letters n equal to 1 means it is k shell, 2 means l shell, 3 means m and 4 means n shell. Okay, so what is this n and n square we shall know about the after the remaining quantum numbers are completed. Okay, so next quantum number is Ajmutal computer. Next quantum number is Ajmutal quantum number L and it is also known as orbital angular momentum or subsidiary quantum number and it defines a three dimensional shape of the orbital. The What is the shape of the orbital is given by the Ajmutal quantum number or the angular momentum quantum number. Okay, so for the given value of n, n will range from 0 to 1. Okay, suppose n is equal to 1, the value of L will be 0. That means L equal to, we can say, n minus 1. So, n is 1 means L will be 0. Okay, L is, n is 2 means L will be 1. Like that, so the maximum value of L will be n minus 1. Remember, L equal to angular momentum number, that is, azimuthal quantum number. L is equal to, that is, principal quantum number minus 1. So L value ranges from 0 to 1, 0, 1, 2 like that and N value ranges from 1, 2 like that. Okay, so moving on to the, so as I have told you N equal to 1 means L equal to 0 and it is the subshell number S, 1S. So to N equal to 2 means L equal to 0, 2S. Next is L equal to 2 means L equal to 1 that is 2p so s shape of this s orbital is pure and shape of p orbital is dumbbell and shape of d is complex double dumbbell and f is more complex we have more lobes so s is pure p shape is dumbbell and d shape is double dumbbell and f is complex okay so like that we have first is 1s then 2s then 2p then 3s, then 3p, then 3d, like that for every orbital, one extra orbital is added, okay. Next, the last quantum number that is magnetic orbital quantum number ml. It gives information about the spatial orientation of the orbital with respect to standard set of coordinate axis. So for any subshell defined by L value, 2L plus 1 values of ML. So ML will be always 2L plus 1. So based on L value, magnetic quantum number will be decided. L will be 2N, sorry, N minus 1. We have already seen and ML will be 2L plus 1. So value of L is 0 means subshell number S, number of orbitals will be 1. And P has 3 orbitals, Px, Py, Pz like that. S has only one orbital, D has five orbitals, F has seven orbitals. Okay. 
So always principal counter number gives the distance from the nucleus and shape of the orbital is given by the magnetic quantum number sorry shape of the orbital is given by azimuthal quantum number or angular momentum quantum number that is l and orientation in space is given by magnetic quantum number that means how much angle it is making from different orbitals okay and uh, s gives the electronic spin whether it is anti clockwise or clockwise direction hope you are clear with the differences between the quantum numbers n l and m and s okay then how the orbitals are filled in an atom so first the filling of electrons into the orbitals of atoms takes place according to off bohs principle so off bohs was a scientist he has given so off bohs means in german it is building up so he says in the ground state of the atoms the orbitals are filled in the order of increasing energy so i say near the nucleus the lower orbitals has lower energy as we move away from the nucleus they have higher energy so in order in which the energies of the orbitals increase hence the order in which the orbitals are filled as in this way okay 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d this is the energy of the orbitals so want to clearly remember this if you can write like this 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 3d like that so energy will flow from 1 to 2s then 2s to 2p like this okay clear with this of bo principle so nearer to the nucleus we have the lesser energy orbitals and when we move away from the nucleus we have the higher energy orbitals which is given by the of bohr's principle and also we have the filling of orbitals based on hans rule of multiplicity and as well as pauli exclusion principle so we shall see what are these also so pauli exclusion principle was proposed by austrian scientist called wolfgang pauli in 1926 he says no two electrons in an atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers okay no two electrons in an atom can have the same set of four quantum numbers so simply we can say no two electrons may exist in the same orbital and these electrons must have opposite spin like this so one is spinning or clockwise means it should go anti clockwise or vice versa so it is stated by pauli exclusion principle the next rule is hans rule of maximum multiplicity so he says with the filling of electrons into the orbitals belonging to the same subshell orbitals of equal energy called degenerated orbitals this rule deals with the filling of electrons into the orbitals belonging to the same subshell suppose i want to fill a same subshell how they are filled is given by the hans rule of maximum multiplicity so it says pairing of electrons in the orbitals belonging to the same subshell does not take place until each orbital belonging to that subshell has got one electron each suppose we have px py pz so suppose if i have three electrons so don't think like this it will happen it will not happen so it will happen like this so first all the subshells will be filled suppose if it has four electrons and then the fourth electron will be filled in the first subshell so each subshell should get one electron each and it should be singly occupied as is said by hans rule of maximum multiplicity so same thing again next electronic configuration of atoms the distribution of electrons into orbitals of an atom is called electronic configuration so electronic configuration uh, we can uh, have two ways of representation we can say like this as notation or in the orbital diagram i already told you s means only one subshell p means three subshells actually it should be five okay so this should be one clear with this so 1 3 5 and uh, f has seven so example suppose i have hydrogen hydrogen has its atomic number is 1 only so we can say it is 1s1 in s orbital we have two electrons every shell has two electrons so it is denoted like this 
and helium has atomic number 2 so it has two electrons so one will be in one side rotating another will be another side rotating and uh, lithium has three atomic number it is 1s2 2s1 I have already told you 1s 2s 3s 3p like that 1s2 then 2s1 suppose I want to take beryllium so 1s2 2s2 so you can see here clearly suppose if I want to take boron 1s2 2s2 3s1 so this will be given in the examination saying suppose there is uh, atomic number 20 calcium how do you write okay 1s2 2s2 2p6 how much is done next 3s2 3p6 and 3d2 this is the order okay 1 8 8 will be filled this was given once in the XSC examination about calcium the atomic number 20 okay like this you have to fill suppose if there are four electrons I have told you first every elect every shell has to be filled then the it must be singly occupied like stated by the Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity and uh, each two electrons must be in the opposite direction they have to rotate okay so this is about the electronic configuration of atoms we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much